What's going on everyone? Anthony here with HG Toys and welcome back to another video. And in today's video we are going to be reviewing the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Charge Green Ranger. Uh, this shipped out for me from GameStop this week. Uh, it took a few days to get here. Uh, kind of weird that I haven't gotten any of the other Rangers in this wave, which is Wave 10. This is the first figure of Wave 10 that I own. I have uh, yellow on pre-order, pink in pre-order, and uh, what is it? Uh, Phantom Ranger on pre-order. Uh, but for whatever reason, this is the only one that shipped out. I know some people were getting yellow only, some people were getting phantom only, some people were getting phantom and yellow, some people were getting phantom and green, some people were getting none. I don't know how GameStop is doing this. Uh, I feel like as soon as they get them in, they just kind of ship them out. I uh, don't know what order they go in. Uh, but that is that story here. This is the first one I've gotten out of Wave 10. So as you can see here is your standard Power Rangers Lightning Collection box. You have your window display, artwork on the side, Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Charge Green Ranger. Uh, you have the figure in there, some accessories, the Riley head sculpt, the artwork that wraps around the side, Power Rangers Dino Charge logo up the top, uh, promotional shot of the back, on the back, more artwork on the side, green at the top, Legally's at the bottom. Here's the barcode if you want to try to scan that in an app or something. There you go. And yeah, enough of me rambling about the box. What do you say we go ahead and crack this guy open and see how cool he actually is? All right, and here we have the figure out of packaging in all its Dino Charge glory. Uh, but before we take a look at him, what do you say we take a quick look at his accessories? Uh, because he doesn't actually come with quite a lot. So he comes with your uh, two kind of gun trigger hands right here on him out of packaging uh they are in your standard white uh but just like black uh for whatever reason they did not paint the silvers in the hands uh neither with the extra hands that he comes with so he comes with a closed fisted hand right here uh so also not painted silver and then he's got a kind of a pointing hand, almost kind of like Andros's pointing hand. Uh, but I believe this is the first time we are getting this for the Dino Charge hand because um, we do know this sculpt is a little bit different than your standard Ranger hands. They don't have those lines going across. They have this gauntlet piece guard going right here across, I guess, the top or the back of their hand. Uh, so I think this is a new one in general. Then he comes with a uh, Dino Charge blaster morpher thing. And just like all the other ones, uh, it is done in a different yellow compared to the other two releases and only one side is painted. So here we have Chases. As you can see, it is a much darker yellow. And then right here we have Tyler, which is kind of more of a highlighter yellow. I think Tyler's would be the closest one to what it actually is. Uh, this one right here is done in like a weird... I don't know, almost Nerf gun style color yellow, uh, not painted on this side, but it's whatever. Then he comes with his sword, uh, which is closer towards uh, Tyler's sword as far as paint accuracy goes. Uh, it is a little bit off from that one, so as you can see here, uh, same paint applications, just different paints. Uh, but then you also have chases right here where the blade is painted silver for whatever reason and no mine's not just a misprinted paint uh, I went through a lot of them and they're all that color for whatever reason uh, it makes the blade look a little bit shorter than it actually is so I'm glad they got uh, Riley's sword correct seeing how he is more known to be using his sword and then in typical lightning form fashion he comes with a lightning effect which you kind of poured into his sword right here we haven't seen this one in a while actually i think the last time we got something like this uh was with dino charge red uh but he came with i think like a red one or whatever maybe a blue one i'm not quite sure but it's been a while since we've had this certain effect piece uh not the best not the worst so but yeah not too bad then, last but not least, you have your Riley's head sculptor or head sculpt. I meant to say portrait, but it came out sculpture and kind of mixed those two together. But anyways, here you go. It's not too bad. Uh, definitely up there with some of the better ones. I think from other, certain angles, it looks more like him than other angles. Uh, but it's not too, too bad. Let me go ahead and pop this off right quick. Because I know you guys complain when I don't put them on the body itself. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Not too bad. Uh, definitely up there with some of the better head sculpts 
that they have been putting out lately. Uh, like I said, not the best, not the worst. So certain angles it really looks like him, certain angles it really doesn't. It just kind of all depends. But either way, I never display them with their civilian heads anyway. So that's just going to go into a bin uh, with the rest of the decapitated head. Uh, so with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this figure. Uh, so looking at the figure itself, the paint applications on mine are done fairly neat. Uh, right here, the Velociraptor is painted on very nicely. Uh, the yellows are painted within the lines. It's actually kind of funny that Dino Charge Red is the only one to have the silver painted in the gauntlets like it should but he's also the only one thus far that doesn't have the silver painted around the neck uh, so I mean honestly if I did have to choose I guess I would choose the neck painted versus the uh, gauntlets because the gauntlets I can fill in very easy the neck pieces are a bit harder to like get around uh, so if that is the case and I had to choose I would choose the neck versus the gauntlets uh, he does have the correct belt paint scheme I know that it was correct with red but for whatever reason when black came out they had these colors mixed up so instead of a black background with the silver dinosaur it was a silver background with a black dinosaur and that was not easy for me to fix uh, but I had that fixed uh, let's see here the paint applications on the helmet at least on mine are done very nicely uh, there is a little bit of a smudge going on right here at the corner of the visor but that's not too big of a deal uh, overall very nicely done I'm actually surprised they were able to pull it off so nicely uh, seeing how their paint applications have been going really downhill since uh, Dino Charge Red's release uh, the red right here in his little shoulder piece is painted on nicely uh, the back is painted on oh there we go there's some mishaps I don't know what this is right here uh, but there's a little bit of a smudge uh, white paint kind of weird going on right there and that the back is actually done very sloppily so I was praising too early uh, but that is just the back so not too big of a deal uh, there's some more of it right here actually maybe this is just a I don't know it's not coming off is it Nope, it's not coming off. I don't know what that is. Uh, but anyway, so paint applications, I probably would give this one a uh, 7 out of 10. Not too bad, not too great. Uh, yeah, as far as detailing goes, you have your typical standard scaly uh, sleeves going down. Uh, his arms, just like all the Dino Charge suits. Uh, you have his boots right there, pretty plain. Uh, just like black, well, I guess uh, red does have the black part painted or the bottom part painted black like it should. Obviously black is already black, uh, but for whatever reason they opted to not paint these black. Uh, so that's a little bit more of an inconsistency going on. Uh, I, ju I just don't get it. What's going on Hasbro? Like I can understand if you leave it out in general to begin with to save costs, I get that. But if you've done it before, why not keep doing it? You're already upping the price on these, uh, starting from $19.99 to $22.99. Some figures are $24.99. There are even some figures that are knocking on the range of like $27. And that's crazy. I get it. You know, the, pl the, the sh price of shipping has gone up. Uh, but, I mean, you can't just like raise the prices of these and bring down the paint applications. Like, you, like come on. If you're going to raise the price, uh, I get it. You're a company. You're trying to make your money. But, I mean, I uh, I don't know. Just try to keep it consistent is all I'm asking. Like, if you're going to skip it, skip it on all of them. If you're going to add it, add it to all of them. Like, you've already done it. Anyway, so that's enough rambling. That's about it for the uh, details on this figure. What do you say we go ahead and jump into articulations? So as far as articulation go, you have your standard Power Rangers Lightning Collection male body mold. So it does do a full 360, no side to side. Uh, does look up about that far. Look down even further. Uh, you have your shoulders that'll go up. up is that it? Uh, go up about that high. Maybe a little bit higher, but mine's a little bit stiff. Then you have butterfly joints that'll go forward about that far. Not very far forward. Back very good amount. You got your upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, still have the pins on these. Uh, wrist swivel right here. These wrist hinges in and out, so it'll go in about that far. 
out about that far. Then you have your upper diaphragm. So it will rock side to side, full 360 if need be. Look down about that far, look back about that far. Then you have a lower ab crunch. It'll bring it down just a little bit more, back an oddly insane amount. Uh, you have your ball jointed hips. Uh, won't do the splits on this figure. Still waiting for those drop down hips on these figures, Hasbro. Uh, kick forward about that far. Back just a little bit, double jointed knees, still has the pins on them. Uh, upper boot cuff swivel, you have your ankle pivots backwards, forwards, rock side to side, then your peg holes at the bottom. So your typical Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection uh, articulation, nothing new, nothing more, nothing less. So uh, yeah, what do you say we jump into some size comparisons? So as far as size comparison goes, he scales just exactly the same as the other Rangers in this figure. Uh, here he is next to Tyler and Chase. So they look good together. Then just because why not, here he is next to the Lightning Collection Gold Ranger Ivan and Shelby the Pink Ranger from the basic line Amazon 3-pack exclusive that they came out with last year or so. Maybe a little bit longer than that. Uh, it came out during the Beast Morphers anniversary special. Uh, so obviously they scale all together very nicely. Uh, so if you just wanted to like get a blue and you already have this one, you would have a complete team. If not, you're going to have to wait for blue and pink in the Lightning Collection to complete the Dino Charge team. So yeah, let's jump into final thoughts of this figure. So final thoughts for this figure. Uh, just like all the other consensus, it is very uh, annoying that the inconsistency in this line has gotten as far as it's gotten. Um, I get it with their other lines, their inconsistencies too. Uh, but with a team that share the same style uniforms, you would think they would try to get it right. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect. I get it. This is a, well, it was a sub $20 toy line. Now it is a $25 toy line and knocking on 30 uh, very, very soon, I would imagine. Uh, so uh, I just wish they would keep the consistency where it should be. You know, if you add the paint here, add it to the other ones. If you don't have it there, don't put it on any of the other ones. If you have white on one, do white on all of them. If you have silver on one, do silver on all of them. Uh, it's just the inconsistencies is really, really annoying. I know Bandai's toys weren't the best, but at least their paint consistency was the same throughout. Uh, when they did something, they did it throughout all the figures and I don't know. Uh, it's just a little bit annoying, especially when you have them in a team pose. They all just kind of like have different type of paint applications that are just don't make sense to me. Anyways, uh, so yeah, is he a smash? Is he a pass? Obviously, if you're trying to complete everything, go ahead and get him. But if not, I could say this guy is an easy pass. Um, I don't know why you would pass on him. I figure if you're getting it this far, you're just going to get him. So uh, hopefully the rest of the waves come in from GameStop soon, or at least I can hopefully I can find them in the wild like I normally do. Uh, still waiting on GameStop to like, I got yellow pending. Uh, it's just waiting for product availability. Same thing with Phantom Ranger. Pink just hasn't moved at all. So anyways, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, guys, later.